right. Good every, uh, good evening, everyone. Welcome back here to a Friday night. Made it here to the weekend. 10, 19 p.m. That's California time here. October 24th, 2025. Latest activity shows the movement here across the California region uh, with a 3.2 earthquake on the... Uh, Looks like it's on the creeping section here of the San Andreas Fault within the last 15 minutes or so. Uh, again, that's uh, actually it looks like it may be just off of it. Let me take a look here, see what we got for some uh, magnitudes. It's underneath an automatic status. I did see it showing up here on at least one seismograph station. Well, it looks like they're offline now. Surprisingly, <laughs> all the California ones are offline. What, what a convenient time to be offline there. So underneath automatic status uh, tells us that uh, it's not uh, has not been reviewed by a seismologist here. Uh, the error rate that they went with is a 0.3. There's actually a lower one here of a 0.1, but that is uh, spitting out a little bit smaller magnitude. So this could get revised, could get updated. Either way, uh, some earthquake activity stirring up out here in Southern California, as you can see on the map, including one around the Garlock Fault shear zone and also one off the San Andreas Fault. This is a slight uptick um, yesterday and today, uh, technically here in the last week. This is a 2.5 map and above, which is a pretty decent amount of uptick here just for the week period all across the West Coast here in uh, uh, Northern California at the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone as well, it looks like. Uh, one earlier this afternoon as well, 2.9, back prior to the subduction zone it looks like it's off of the mendocino triple point boundary uh let's give a quick glance here at the slow slip event see what we have this evening which uh shows us 87 epicenters of trimmer down here across southern area of the uh, cascadia northern california getting in on some of the action as well it could be why we're seeing a slight uptick out there when the trimmer activity occurs down into the subduction zone that adds further strain here across the locked area and uh, the southern end, yeah, you know, we're pretty well locked out here for some big earthquake activity. It could happen at any given time. Uh, Washington region, uh, a couple smaller earthquakes up there, including a 2.5 south of Seattle. I don't see anything big showing up there for now. Um, inland, not a whole lot happening here, at least on the USGS map. Looking at the rest of the uh, country out here, oil fields and uh, one earthquake out around the uh, Carolina region. Take a look here at the uh, bigger picture of things. Let's see what we got. Any newer activity? There's a super deep earthquake here on the backside of Japan earlier. Uh, the USGS is reporting this four-pointer. Uh, the significance of that is <laughs> the depth of that earthquake. That is a super deep one, 261 miles deep here. Uh, more than likely, probably going to be associated here with potentially the Nankai Trough. I don't know, but that's, it looks like that could be an area uh, where we would see deeper activity into that subduction zone. Of course, there's a Nankai Trough out there on the Oceanic Crust map, highly visible. Uh, that's got some potential to produce some big earthquake activity. So deeper movement out there today. Some adjustment to the southwest here off the Nankai Trough, a 3.2, fairly recent. And uh, we're finally getting some activities turned up here across the Izu Trench, the Mariana Islands. That's that middle point boundary here. It's been a little quiet here on this end of it uh, for a couple days, but uh, I have a feeling now that that's stirred up, we're going to see increasing pressure out here across the western area of the uh, Filipino plate, which of course includes the Philippines and uh, got the Taiwan area up here as well. Pretty active across this region today, including off the coast of Sumatra with the 4.6 and a number of other threes in there um, definitely a good cluster of activity out here New Zealand pretty quiet down there some older movement from uh, late last night Alaska has been uh, having a little bit of movement way up north so let's go see what's going on here across the Alaska area had one north of Anchorage earlier this afternoon a 4.6 at uh, within about 30 miles or so of Anchorage I'm sure quite a few folks felt it out there. Uh, not a big earthquake, but as you can see listed on the map, it was uh, felt as some light shaking down there. A couple other uh, minor quakes out there. Let's see what we got above 2.5. Uh, a little uptick going on there, I would say. 
stretching from about Sandpoint northward here. A little bit deeper activity up north here, it looks like, as well. Uh, nothing big going on, but, of course, it's a major subduction zone out there, and it's been uh, quite active this year. Not so much down here across this area of the Gulf of Alaska. That's, uh, that's one area that really uh, hasn't moved here lately. Uh, 2.4 out in uh, Texas, it looks like right now. The oil fields. Uh, also 2.7 down here across the uh, Middle America Trench. Nothing big going on across this area for now. Uh, there is a little bit of uptick going on across the Puerto Rico uh, region. Got a little swarm out there. Southern end of Puerto Rico. Uh, let's see. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet. Mediterranean region. Got a super deep earthquake out there. Uh, it's a 4.2. Let's see here. That is not being reported at all. There's an earthquake over here in Italy from early this morning. What was that noise? Huh? Was it Chomper? It sounded like a little bitty dog. All right. Sorry about that. I uh, heard a, a little dog bark outside. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, there's one uh, coming off the coast of Sumatra right now, 4.6. So, yeah, things are definitely uh, stirring up out here across this area. Increasing movement out here. When we see this big cluster of activity, that's a, a decent sign there that maybe something else is uh, getting ready to uh, take place as far as uh, larger movement goes. But West Coast out here is starting to light up as well. So, just be on guard, both sides out here. You know, California's got... Uh, a lot of time that uh, has built up here of stress and uh, there's a number of areas that can produce big earthquakes out here along the west coast all right uh, let's see what else we have for space weather activity anything major going on actually we're way down here in the b flare category a b 5.7 nothing big going on there for the sun right now uh, sunspot activity uh, as numerous as it is uh, it's fairly stable in terms of complexity, magnetic complexity out here. 4267 massive area, but that looks fairly stable along with all these other uh, sunspots out there. Uh, we do have a couple coronal holes here, 91, and uh, another one will be named here, it looks like, soon. This is a, a more recent image. So this area, the coronal hole activity, starting to line up with Earth. And um, we'll see what happens here once it is directly lined up. See if we don't get uh, a little period of elevated earthquake activity, potentially. No major roars there in the forecast. Looks pretty clear across the board with regards to that. Uh, Storm Prediction Center. We got some severe weather out there across Texas. Did see some tornado activity. Uh, there's still a tornado threat overnight. Some wind and some big time hail threat out there across Texas. Uh, that will linger into the day on Saturday. Here's the Saturday update, a little bit sl uh, slightly to the east here. Uh, got a uh, 5% chance there for some tornado wind and uh, a little bit of hail threat out there across Austin area, Houston included for the uh, severe weather on Saturday. Uh, this system here across the West Coast, man, it, it keeps... It keeps going drier and drier. We'll be lucky if we get any sprinkles from the system out here. Uh, all, most of the rain's northward, Oregon, Washington, the coast range. But here in the Sacramento Valley, I, we will be lucky if we get any sprinkles. After that, uh, hopefully the pattern changes out here. I mean, I'm, I don't want to go into November at 80 degrees. That's just not okay. I'm, I'm, that doesn't work for me. I like the colder weather. Anyway, folks, stay on guard. Be alert. Uh, California definitely starting to move out here. Of course, got a lot of clustering going on uh, across the western Pacific over here. Things uh, look like they could get interesting overnight. Have a good one. We'll see you guys out here for the uh, Saturday morning update. Take care and uh, stay safe out there.